Today we are going to talk about what a number bond is. A number bond has three main parts to it. There are two parts of a number and then the whole number. We can use number bonds to help us add and subtract. We are going to model the whole number of five. So there are different ways to make five. We have zero and five. So zero and five together make the whole number of five. We can also use one and four together. The parts one and four together make the whole number of five. Another way to make five would be two and three. The parts two and three go together to make the whole number of five. We can say three and two. Our parts are three and two. We can put those parts together to make the whole number of five. We can also make parts of four and one and four and one together make Five. Finally, we can say that one part is five and the other part would be zero and together five and zero make five. We can also write number sentences that match each of these for addition and subtraction. Let's look at the first one, zero and five. My parts are zero and five. My whole number is five. So I will add my parts together to make the whole number. So I would say zero plus five equals five. I could also say five plus zero equals five. So those are my two addition sentences for this number bond. But I could also write two subtraction sentences. When I subtract, I start with my whole number. So my whole number is five. If I have five and I take away nothing, I'm left with a part of five. I could also start with five as my whole number and I could take all five away and I am left with a part of zero. So this is one way to show five. Another way that we can make five again is one and four. Again, I always add my parts to make the whole number. So I could write one plus four equals five. So I have one plus four more equals five. I could also swap these and say four plus one equals five. So again, my parts are gonna to go together to make the whole number of five. Now, if I want to show a subtraction sentence, I could start with my whole number, which is five. And I could take one away. So if I take that one away, I'm left with the other part of four. So I could say five minus one equals four, or you could start with five again, but this time I'm gonna take away four. So if I have five and I take away four, it's equal to one. So I'm back to where I started before. Or I can show five a different way. I can Two and three. Two plus three equals five. So if my parts of five are two and three, I'm going to put those parts together to make five, to make the whole number of five. Or I could swap my parts and say three plus two equals five. Now that I have my two addition sentences, I can write two subtraction sentences. And remember, when we subtract, we always start with the whole number. So I'm going to start with my whole number of 5. 
And this time I'm going to take away three. So if I have five and I take the three away, I'm left with a part of two. So five minus three is equal to two. I could also start with five. This time, since I took three away last time, I'm going to take two away this time. So five minus two is equal to three. Five minus two is equal to three. You can use the number bond to show the parts and the whole of any whole number. If you have any questions on how to use number bonds or how they work, please feel free to contact your student's teacher with any questions. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.